After five decades, Roe versus Wade, the legal precedent protecting a woman's right to an abortion, overturned by the Supreme Court. Thanks for joining us at five. I'm Elizabeth Din. I'm Jeff Gianola. The major precedent was challenged because of a legal fight over Mississippi's abortion ban. That law, banning abortion after 15 weeks, took effect back in 2018. But a federal district court blocked it because of Roe. And then today, the conservative dominated court upholding the Mississippi law six to three. Meanwhile, the vote to overturn Roe v. Wade, that is actually five to four, with Chief Justice John Roberts delivering an opinion separate from the conservative majority. Roberts says, quote, the court's decision to overrule Roe and Casey is a serious jolt to the legal system, regardless of how you view those cases. But Roberts wanting to uphold the Mississippi law, but preserve Roe, going on to say a narrower decision rejecting the misguided viability line would be markedly less unsettling and nothing more is needed to decide this case. The effects of this decision already underway in 13 states that have trigger laws, including Idaho. Those laws restrict or outlaw abortion in most cases with Roe overturned. The Guttmacher Institute, which supports abortion rights, identifies 13 more states that could follow suit. So we're bringing you team coverage tonight with legal perspectives on today's opinion the effect it could have on local elections and the state of abortion care here in the Northwest. We begin with Lisa Balick in downtown Portland. Lisa, big reactions on both sides of this issue all across Oregon. Yeah, and about the only thing that they agree on at this point is that abortion remains completely legal and available in both Oregon and Washington. But both sides gearing up for a much longer fight ahead. This is about who has power over you, who has the authority to make decisions for you, and who can control your future. Planned Parenthood Columbia Willamette among local abortion rights groups urging supporters to donate money and time to help the influx of women expected to seek abortions in Oregon once other states ban them. And worry that effort could even face a legal challenge. We are seeing states, including language, that indicates that they might try to impact people here in Oregon and outside their states who do help people access abortion. Oregon lawmakers committed $15 million to help expand access with Idaho getting ready to ban most abortions, Planned Parenthood is moving forward with opening a clinic in Ontario on the Idaho border. Telehealth video appointments increasing as more women are seeking medical prescription pill abortions rather than surgical ones. 70% says Planned Parenthood. I asked whether there are worries abortion clinics will see anti-abortion protesters out front. I think safety considerations and facility considerations, of course, are some of the things that um, have risen to the top. We asked Oregon Right to Life about this today. They tell us local organizers decide their actions, but they are urging an absence of violence. As we, as an organization, condemned the violence of outliers that claimed to be pro-life, we expect that they will also condemn violence. This is a time for us to be calm. Now, checking on some numbers here in Oregon. Last year, 6,500 abortions here in Oregon. That is a record low. Clearly, things are about to change. Back to you.